Hello and welcome to this awesome episode of the Daily Video Announcements. Today is Thursday, October 20th, and I'm Sarah. And hi, I'm Emily. Now it's time where we all stand, place our hand over our heart, and honor this awesome country as we say the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all thank you and please be seated check your school emails and share the pledge star link one last day to reach our final incentive yes today is our last day to reach our recess games incentive and twenty five thousand dollars and the glowathon is tomorrow october 21st oh wait 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 we have one last minute update please excuse us for a special interruption from mr cole Hey, good morning, Sycamore Junior High. Uh, great news to share with you. Besides today being Optimistic Thursday in an FC Cincinnati playoff game, uh, we passed the $25,000 threshold, so we've got uh, the recess package coming. Uh, as soon as it is in-house, we will get it out there so you guys have uh, a bunch of things to do um, while we're outside. Again, I really appreciate all your guys' hard work. That is awesome. We more than doubled what we raised last year. So that is awesome. Nice job. Uh, second thing, tomorrow, I am so excited for the Glowathon uh, and Field Day. Uh, hopefully, your Flexpel teachers have shared with you. We've got some Flexpel competitions going on outside, uh, and we're going to be keeping points based on each of the five stations uh, that you do. And uh, the winning seventh grade class, winning eighth grade class can get a pizza party. Uh, so your Flexpel teacher will work on uh, helping you sign up for which competitions you think you can help. We've got a football throw. We've got a tug of war. We've got some cup stacking competitions like Minute to Win It. So uh, we've got a great week going on. Thanks for all your hard work as we wrap up the first quarter. Go Waves. We did it! We did it! We did it! Yeah! Woo! I can't believe how awesome our school is. Together we raised $25,000. Wow, wow, wow. Tomorrow we get to collect all of our hard-earned incentives, and during our end-of-the-day flex spell, we can enjoy both our fun glow and field day time. What? All this hard work w was really for us and to help our school club's sports and activities. Yes, go Sycamore. Obviously, your work and voice matters. Look at what we did. Make sure to take time to share your opinion and add your suggestions or recommendations for the SJHS News Crew Communication Classroom. Go here, OZUJS35. Especially to the Glowathon recess equipment requests for before we take it down. The Moore and Sycamore Showcase is continuing to collect great recommendations. If you have someone that, and that someone could be you, has a special talent or that you would like to showcase or take time to recognize, a teacher, a student, an interesting Sycamore trivia, or interesting fact, please submit your entry on the Moore and Sycamore area on the News Crew Communications Classroom. I think I'm a great dancer. I agree. I'll, I'll recommend you. Yeah. <laughs> also, share your opinion on the surveys. See where your input, input compares with others. All right, it's the end of the quarter time. It is next Thursday. Keep those grades up. Do your work and your classwork. Study for your test quizzes as well. And check your emails for important information. Also, check the lost and found table for any missing items. The table is full of stuff. If you're missing a sweatshirt, water bottle, device, charger, etc., Check the table. It is right by the main entrance under the welcome sign. Also, it is a good time to clean out your locker if you have a bunch of junk collected in the bottom. Yeah, I need to do that soon. Remember to mark your calendars to support our 7th grade FTC robotics team at October 29th Montgomery's Farmer's Market. Now, oh wait, another interruption on our live video set. Wait, it looks like Mr. Aviator. Is Mr. this Avi Mr. Aviator? Mr. Aviator? I wonder what, what he has to say. Good morning, Sycamore! I'm
I'm Captain Aviator and I'm here to talk to you about our upcoming wrestling season. Typically in the fall season, we have about 350 athletes. And then in the winter, we only have like 200 athletes out there. That means there's about 150 athletes who are not doing anything. Slugging around, sitting on the couch, mostly because they think they're, mostly because they're cut from another sport or they think they're not going to make the team. I'm here to tell you that wrestling is the only non-cut winter sport. And if you, you don't need any prior knowledge, you don't need any prior experience to come out. We have an A team for the experienced wrestlers, and we have a B team for the athletes who are just getting started. Everybody you wrestle, they're in your weight class. So they're your same size. So no worries there. We will get started off this season with the most basic steps. So you don't need to know anything coming in. We're going to start from square one. Come join a winning program that always finds their way to the top of the podium. Wrestling is a very challenging sport, but it's also very rewarding. If you think you have what it takes, if you think you have the commitment to sign, sign up on final forms, go to the wrestling meeting. It's going to be in the Old Gym, during Flex, next Thursday on October 27th. Old Gym, next Thursday, I'll see you during Flex. Thanks, Mr. Avier. Wow, he's very sick, more spirited. I wonder if I can fit wrestling into my schedule. <laughs> Next up, National Day! Today is National Chicken and Waffles Day. Yes, it is. The famous combination of chicken and waffles have been around for over 150 years. Wow, that is way longer than I thought. Hey, Emily, do you like chicken and waffles? I do. What about you? I also like chicken and waffles. They're actually really good. I agree. Yeah. Next up, we have birthdays. Happy birthday to our only birthday, Myra S. Now over to Mr. Harris. Good afternoon, Sycamore Junior High, and welcome to your video announcements. By the way, this is just a reminder, due to the special schedule tomorrow, we will not have video announcements tomorrow. We've got Glowathon. Hello. All right, so we've got some other stuff going on, so we will not have announcements then. All right, we the people, you're going to meet Tuesday, October 25th at 7.15 a.m. in Mr. Hammer's room. That is room 200. It's a cool group. Hopefully, a lot of people will get up and join that. All right. Uh, tonight's opening night, the play, right? Open night tonight. All right, so the Sycamore Junior High Theater Fall Play, the Brothers Graham Spectaculathon, opens up tonight at Sycamore High School. Tickets are $10 at the door, or you can get them on avestheater.org. Should be a blast. Hey, crew, cast and crew, break a leg tonight. Good luck. Have a great show. All right, now, I don't know what that craziness was with the dude in the mask and everything, calling himself Captain Aviator and all that other nonsense, but he reminded you about wrestling and things like that, so this is just a reminder. If you're interested in wrestling, there will be a meeting in the old gym during Flex Bell on Thursday, October 27th. All right, so resting meeting, old gym, flex bell on Thursday to keep that crazy Captain Aviator guy from ever showing up here again. That's up to you. All right, I admit that I, I am out of here. You guys have a great weekend because we don't have announcements tomorrow, and I'll see you on Monday. Thanks, Mr. Harris. Now over to our Dean of Students, Mr. Stern. Hey, good afternoon, Aviator Nation. Mr. Stern, Dean of Students here to talk to you about um, our latest episode of Stern's Mailbox. Um, thank you for the questions and concerns that you have been sending. Uh, today I want to address one that came to me regarding uh, layover. I had a student say, Mr. Stern, I, I keep hearing about layover. I don't know exactly what that is, and how will I know if I have a layover, and how does that work? So. Yes, if you have multiple missing assignments in science, language arts, or math, uh, your teacher may assign you a layover. So a layover is an opportunity for you to catch up in your classes, and it does take place during your lunch time. It actually takes place in the makerspace area that is right next to the cafeteria. That is room 125. So if you get a layover, uh, your teacher will let you know. Chances are they're going to give you a form that looks like this. It's green. And uh, also, we typically send you an email. So there's really no excuse to say, I didn't know I had a layover. 
because your teacher told you, you received something in your hand, there was an email associated with it. At that point, you are expected to be at layover. It's not an option. Uh, you must attend. If you do not attend, um, we will have somebody come into the lunchroom to pull you out. Um, in the past, we've actually had um, a big speaker that we actually called out students who were not at layover. So um, if you don't want to be in that position, then definitely make sure that you are attending. How do I get out of layover? How do I finish? So you need to get out of layover from the layover staff. What that means is you can't just not show up because you have the assignment finished. The layover person does not know your assignment is finished and it is not the expectation that your teacher will re reach out to the layover person. So what you need to do is go to layover, show them that your work is completed and they need to take you off of the layover log. Until they have taken you off, the expectation is that you continue to come. Hey, great question. Um, Thank you so much for uh, the variety of questions I've been getting. Um, that one today was, was spectacular because I think, yeah, layover is a new program for many of you. Hey, you can't control the consequences, but you can always control your behavior. Have a great day. Thanks, Mr. Stern. And if you have any suggestions for Mr. Stern's informative episodes, please fill out the form in Mr. Stern's mailbox on this News Crew Google Classroom. Also, if you would like to add information to the video announcements, email Ms. Jarvis and or make your suggestions on the News Crew site. Remember, the code is OZUJS35. Yeah. Yes, thanks for helping our school be a great place to be safe, where we all are responsible, where we can be problem solvers, and we can be respectful to one another. And stay classy, Sycamore. And stay classy, Sycamore. <laughs> and now, for the joke of the day. Wait, where are you going, Emily? Now for the joke of the day with Mr. Teets. Where do fruits go on vacation? Where? Paris. <laughs>